there, my name is Vlad, welcome to my studio. Today we are checking out the Engel cap loader pedal. As the name suggests, and you probably guessed it already, the Engel cap loader has impulse responses, cabinets in it, and what makes it cool in a very crowded pedal board market, not pedal board market, pedal market, is the fact that it actually hosts all of the Engel cabinets in it. And they've done the IR captioning themselves. And when you think about all of the IR loaders uh, out there, all the ones I've tried, the Junot ones, the New X ones, Nux ones, there's two of those, more um, Hoton, so many big companies do those nowadays. What's cool about this is like Engel has a long history of building really, really good guitar cabinets. And it just makes a lot of sense for them to release a pedal like this and include all of them as impulse responses in here. And since the company itself is capturing those, I think it's just kind of cool. Like that's their vision of how those caps are supposed to sound. And if it's not clear to you yet, I like it a lot. That's a really cool idea. Otherwise I feel it's a pretty standard one. There's two ways you can run this. Uh, right now, what we're doing is going from the guitar into the angle alpha drive. Uh, the eternal notes like clean is on bypass because we're going to use it a bit later. We go straight in the front end of the Rev Dynamics over there. And warning, do not go from the speaker output of your amplifier into this pedal. It is not a load box. It will not handle the load of the amplifier and you're in a risk of breaking your amplifier. So do not go from the speaker output into this pedal. Okay. What we're doing here is going from the effects send of the Rev Dynamics into the input of the angle cap loader. And I'm using through connection, which basically bypasses everything that's happening in the pedal. I'm going back into the effects return of the Rev Dynamics. From there, the signal goes to the speaker output of the amplifier and it goes into the tuner torpedo live behind me. But we are not hearing the tuner torpedo live. Today, we are hearing the angle cap loader over here because I'm using the balanced out that goes straight into my recording interface. It's one cool way to run it. Basically, you can still have your cabinet on the stage, but you can send a very consistent signal from stage to stage to your front house guy or go into a recording interface. That's just really handy. So that's one way to run it. The other one is to kind of have this, I want to say, amplest pedal board setup, and we'll dive into that a bit later. But right now, uh, I have whatever setting I just kind of found here while preparing for this video. Let me take the tuner off as well or drop it on the floor. That's one way to do it as well. Sure. Uh, <laughs> we are playing or I, I am playing, not we, I. You are watching me play. Yeah. Fun. Jokes. Uh, my new Ibanez AZ, uh, I think it's 2042 or 2402 PWF which stands for pearl flat white or white flat one of one of those two yeah my new ibanez it's part of the az series two humbuckers just i love this guitar i got this while i, I was at 42 g street and i've been playing it every day since it's just a fantastic instrument um drive channel of the dynamis i have a el34 power amp simulation on because we are kind of bypassing the power amp on the actual amplifier. 57, the first cabinet, which is E112 with a V30. Some adjustments for the center and distance of the microphone presence and master matched, so I'm not clipping. Just sounds like this. <laughs> Already like that sound a lot. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, different power amp simulations, EL34, EL84, 6L6, 6V6, fairly standard setup, uh, microphones 5758, 421, uh, 441, 
200 IP or something like that, uh, 203 NT1 and a few others as well. Uh, there's a whole list of the microphones in the manual that I actually have here. So if you're interested in that, the manual is also available online and you can check exactly what the microphones are. Same was for the cabinets, but we're going to go through all of them soon. There's a presence control for the power amp simulation, master volume, which seems to both adjust the input and output of the whole thing. Because when I initially plugged this in, this handy clipping light was telling me that I'm clipping. <laughs> So that's really cool. It's, yeah, allows you to balance out so you're not clipping going into the cap loader or out of it. Really nice. Uh, and these controls allow you to move the microphone off the center, or like from the middle to the side of the speaker cone. And you can also move it further or closer to the speaker. Really handy. We'll check out all of those features soon. Let's go through the power amp simulations First, uh, something that I just realized, something I did off camera or like I cut out and I'm cutting this out. I was just tuning my guitar using the clip-on tuner, even though I have the fantastic Peterson Strobo Stomp HD over there, which is probably the best tuner out there. And by the time this video goes out, there's a video of me telling you that that might be the best pedal tuner out there. Power amp simulations. <laughs> EL34, EL84. I like how they distort more right away. That's really cool. 6L6. <laughs> And 636, which that amp actually hosts as well. Yeah, so actually effective controls. So you can either match your amp or try something completely different. Uh, basically, it's up to you. Oh, and something that you can also do, you can obviously also turn it off. Not clipping. That's also a useful sound. But I do feel there's something missing. Something that I also forgot to mention input output wise is the fact that there's a balanced line out over here. It's really cool. And there's also a ground lift switch and a phone's output, so you can use this rig as a silent practice tool as well, if you want to. And that's super handy, especially if you have like an ampless pedal rig. On the top side over here, there's also a USB in, uh, which allows you to upload your own impulse responses into the pedal. All right, let's check out all of the cabinets. I just realized that even though I was saying it was the uh, one with V30s, I was actually on the cap number two, which is the one with G1265. So, cap number one, one by 12 with a, with a V30. Yep, there's the bite. The one with G1265. By the way, if you would somehow be able to dual mic or have two cabinets in this. Uh, the combination of, of a V30 and G1265 is a really good one. I had that in my Mesa 2x12 cabinet way, way, way back then. Right, cab number three is the one with G12M65 greenback, maybe? I'm not sure. That's a really cool sound. Cap number four is the 2x12 with V60s. And I actually had that cabinet as my home setup. I had a Mesa Express 550 head and that cabinet as my home setup. I think I have a picture of that over here. And yeah, it might have been a little bit overkill, but yeah, it was 11 years ago and times have changed, I guess. That's a good sounding cabinet. Cab number five, same cabinet, but with V30s. Four 
by 12 with V60s. <laughs> Sounds really good, 4x12 with V30s. Four by twelve with V thirties, but this is the XXL model. The one with G twelve M twenty fives greenbacks, I guess. Again, I'm not an expert on speakers, but sounds like that. 4x12 with G12M65s. Again, all of these cabinets are in the manual if you want to check them out. Cabinet with a mix of V30s and T75s. All right, I may have just found my favorite. It's bitey, but it's kind of more full range than just the V31. This is really good. And the last one is 4x12 A slash VV, which means something. Let's go back to the previous one. And check out the microphone controls. So dead center. Really good way to tame off that high end. Distance. So again, you get the idea. They're not like super drastic controls, but help you fine tune the sound to exactly your liking. All right, microphones, no microphone. I'm not sure how this works with a microphone. I guess microphone here is more as a filter. 57. 58. 421. 41 Oh, something, something Two oh oh three NT one four hundred four thousand something eighty seven and forty seven this one is good. That is really good. And the cool thing is it has two favorite switches. So if I want to store this sound, I have blinky blinky and it is saved. So if I go to this one, whoa! I guess there was nothing proper saved over there. Back to that one. And technically you can actually have three different sounds because if I now adjust these, we get this sound and then we hit that twice and we are back to our presets. So yeah, technically you can actually have three sounds. The ones that you can see here and these two and obviously by holding these two as the name suggests you can also bypass the whole thing if you want to and then it doesn't sound as pretty anymore hello honestly this sounds really good and it doesn't seem to be destroying the feel of my amp or anything like that there's dynamics
it just works really well. Uh, let me quickly rewire all of this and we'll check out the pedal in a kind of ampless situation. So an angle alpha drive, two notes to clean as a preamp, and then this one, be right back. And as the last thing, we're trying this kind of ampless setup. Let's check out the Le Clean first. Here's how it sounds just through this into the angle cap loader first. So like a fairly standard kind of guitar into a IR loader sound. I've set up the kind of slightly drivier channel of the Le Clean. It's a kind of Fender black face type of thing. I'm going to back off the gains. Just a really clean thing. Uh, it, something that you cannot hear is how it makes feel kind of much more dynamic and expressive. Whereas this feels really dull. It makes it feel, and dare I say it, as if you're playing through an amp. <gasps> I said it! Not clipping, but yeah, clean sound. I'm sticking with the same, my new favorite cabinet setup that I just found using the Dynamics over there. But right now it's super clean. That's why, that's way, that's why we have the Engel Alpha Drive. to the end without any mistakes but who cares let's try out the gain on max just for the sake of it still not clipping yep it works really well it sounds really good the setup that is but I'm impressed. It's exactly the kind of thing you want to do if you want to enter a really crowded market. And yeah, it offers something unique, something really familiar. Uh, I love the IR loaders that give you a lot of options, but with a kind of um, physical interface, sort of speak. Uh, you have physical controls for everything and no need to browse through menus, displays, anything like that. Uh, this is more than enough for me at least to tweak the sounds to my liking and obviously you can also upload four of your own impulse responses into this if you so desire and yeah built really really well love the metallic finish it's very angle and i mean that in a really good way yeah i think it pretty much has everything uh, i would want in a ir loader pedal and just overall feels like a high quality product and yeah, if you want to get yours, please follow the link below in the description. Thank you, Angle guys, for, well, first of all, uh, handing me over the pedal at 42 Gear Street. It was really cool to meet you in person instead of just shooting emails back and forth. And Angle seems to be kind of on the rise. Uh, they're kind of uh, embracing the whole YouTube and social media community. And that is really, really cool. And... I also know that they have really cool products in the pipeline uh, that I hope to get to demo and I'm pretty sure you guys will like them as well. But more on that whenever that time is. And yeah, angle cap loader if you want to get yours. Links below in the description. Uh, I'll put links to these products as well just in case you want to replicate my pedal board 100%. You can do that. 
by using the links below in the description. You can also get yourself a Catpix Studios t-shirt. Links to that as well below. And you obviously can also get my, well, right now it's just one jump track. There will be more soon. Uh, again, link below in the description. That's how you can support this channel. Like, share, subscribe, all of those YouTube things. Thanks for watching this video. I shall see you next time.